All right, guys, here is the barbecue sauce all canned up and ready to go. Um, my family kind of came and devoured the pork burgers that we smeared this barbecue sauce on. I didn't even get a chance to get a picture. The food was gone. And actually, one jar is already gone, so it must not be too bad. But here we go, guys. This is it. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Don't forget to, to please share the video if you could and hit that like button. And we will see you super soon, guys. Bye for now. All right, everyone. So this is what we're going to do today. We're going to change up this signature bar barbecue sauce and we're going to make an apple chipotle barbecue sauce. This was canned back in 2019. Actually, I think it was one of my very first videos. But I have uh, two, four five of these jars left over and we're just not we're not using them so i'm going to change up this barbecue sauce and we're going to make apple chipotle i have some applesauce here and we're going to put this in the pot and we're going to add some few other things and we're going to can this up we're going to water bath can this i'm just going to show you the pot i'm going to pull you over there and we will get moving and grooving Alrighty, so how are we going to change this up? So I have the barbecue sauce here. We are going to heat it through. We wanted it a little thicker. I did put it through our blender. And I did want it to heat up a little bit. This is a great way to change up your barbecue sauces as well. We just didn't use the liter jars the way I thought we would, so I would rather create something else and then get it used up a little bit faster. And I don't see the point in processing a bunch of tomatoes for more barbecue sauce if we are not um, using this up. So, and this is actually one of our favorite, 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 um, next to like the, the bullseye one I do. So, I'm just going to grab a spoon, give it a little taste. Definitely need some more salt. So, we're going to start there. And then we're going to start adding some stuff here. I'm going to add a couple teaspoons of salt to this. I do have to watch my pressure canner is on. Okay. Now, if I had peppers and adobo sauce, I would be using those. But I don't. So, I'm going to add one cup of brown sugar. spicy delicious stuff now I'm gonna put some applesauce in here oh yes I'm gonna do it totally Tracy style right to the rim I'll clean this out a little bit more when that cooks down a little bit because I'm gonna let this all come together let that sugar slowly incorporate I'm going to add two tablespoons of garlic And we're going to add two tablespoons of onion powder. A tablespoon of chipotle chili powder. I'm 
this looks like coffee grounds, this stuff. And two tablespoons of smoked paprika. Which I do have to order more. There we go. We are going to add some liquid smoke to this, but the heat has to be off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this come up to a slow bubble here. Keep mixing. Get all those spices incorporated. Let it reduce a little bit. And then I'll bring you guys back. All right, everyone, here is the barbecue sauce I had to stop yesterday. My body was really hurting. But so what I did was this morning, I got this kind of perkin away. Um, I did add half a cup of molasses to this barbecue sauce and two more teaspoons of salt. I am gonna add half a cup of white vinegar. I just feel like it needs a touch of acid to it. It is starting to thicken up now. I'm going to let it reduce a little bit more. I have my jars in my All-American because I used that yesterday on the Cuisinart cast iron burner. Figured it's out. It, you know, why not, right? So I'm going to let this reduce for about another hour. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. It is, like I said, it's starting to get really nice and thick. The taste is phenomenal. Just phenomenal. So I'm really super happy with that. It just, to me, it needed a touch more acid to it. And I was out of lime juice. So vinegar it is. And all I had was white vinegar. At the end of this, once we shut this off and it cools a little bit, we're gonna add some liquid smoke to it. So it's gonna get a nice smoky hit to it. And uh, it's almost gonna be, it's a cross between a bullseye and it's just so good. It's just so good. So it's got sweetness, it's got tartness, it's got it's got everything. So I'm gonna let this perk away for about another hour and let it reduce a little bit more, get a little bit thicker. The chunks you're seeing in there is the apple, which is just giving it a beautiful taste. The and it's not spicy, guys, at all. It's just got a real smoky hint to it. And that's what the the um the chipotle chili powder does and then of course you know you got the smoke paprika in there and all those wonderful things as well so i'm going to stop blabbering and we are going to can this up next time i see you all righty so i've let this reduce an hour the water is not at the top anymore guys i can hold my spoon up in that so that's thick enough. I have some liquid smoke here. Hopefully, it's probably pretty blurry, but. So now I'm just gonna use a capful. And we're gonna start with that. Give that a little stir. Oh, I love hickory smoke, guys. We're gonna use some of this for supper tonight, too. So I will put a picture of our supper into this video. We're going to barbecue some pork burgers. You guys are going to eat pork burgers for supper, so. Okay, so let's give it a little taste. Let's see if I need to add any more. This stuff's like liquid lava. Yep. So with the liquid smoke, guys, do it to your taste. So add a add a add a capful, stir it around, at you know just keep adding it, because everybody's tastes are going to be a little bit different. It's very tart. It's sweet. Hits every taste note, which is fantastic. Give it a little stir. I'm gonna rinse my spoon. another taste look how well it's holding on the spoon that's when you know it's done I 
I'm going to go another capful. And I think that's good. That's where we like it. Or where I like it. And I'm the one that does the cooking, so that's all that matters. Okay. So now I'm going to stir this up. I'm going to get us set up for canning. My jars are ready. Oh my gosh, guys. So good. And um, we're going to get canning up this barbecue sauce. I'll be right back. Alrighty, everyone. Let's fill up these jars. Get them back in the water bath canner. Well, it's not even a water. It's a pressure canner, but you know what I mean. So. Let's ladle this in. Hot jars, guys. They've been in there, I don't know, an hour or so. I'm just going to turn up my little burner here back up to high because I've just had them sitting in there they're very well sanitized quarter inch headspace so thick and beautiful it's amazing I mean I was happy with the other barbecue sauce we just wanted something little different I had made too much of it and we just got tired of it and we, so we stopped using it so now I've recycled the ones you know recycled the large ones that I had done and now we have this beautiful sauce barbecue sauce to add to our little collection and I think that's great So, let me get rid of this wooden spoon here. <clears throat> nice and thick. Should be good on those pork burgers tonight. I've already made a mess, so, you know, it is what it is. I am going to actually debubble this a little bit. Um, let me find my debubbler. There it is. Oh, our pigs are fighting, guys. All right. Now this will water bath for 20 minutes. See all those air bubbles coming up to the top? Mm-mm-mm. A little bit of vinegar water. I've got oh, the end of that paper towel. My lid's in hot water. When I water bath can, I always um, do my jars, my lids, I mean, sorry, in um, hot water. I know they say you don't have to now, but... There's just certain things I find I have a better, better seal. I don't have many that don't seal, so I'm pretty lucky. I've always been really lucky with that. I don't know if it's because I always heat jars for long length of time or not. I have no idea, but I've never really struggled with Things not sealing. Some lids on here. The rings on. I'm going to get them back in the water bath canner on my Queen Art burner.
and I will bring you guys back when I've processed them all for 20 minutes and pulling them out of the water bath canner. Alrighty guys, we're going to pull out these jars. I'm on my little counter guys, so I'm really sorry about the angle here. So, I'm just going to pull these out. I'll give you guys a really good shot. Make sure you give yourself enough space in between for them to air out as well. No siphoning again. I'll show you guys the canner here in a second. So we got two, four, six. We got nine, and then I got a little bit for supper as well. So that's fantastic. Here we go. Just gonna take you guys off the tripod so it might get a little funky. There we go, guys. Let me try to get you guys a little more focused. There we go. Hard time seeing with this camera. There you go, guys. Those beautiful jars are gonna get cleaned up and put in the pantry for future use. Hope you guys enjoyed this video showing you how to take something that you're not using and change it up and give you guys some different options on your pantry shelf. If you guys like this video, please don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. More content coming. If you have any ideas for content, don't always remember, you can always put it in the comment box or the comments and I'll see what I can do. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. Hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you super soon. Bye.